Welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Guys, I've got another exciting episode for you guys. Today, I have a, a video on a very problematic thing that AMD software is doing when you tweak it at all. So undervolt, overclock, anything like that, and it wrecks your GPU's performance. So without further ado, let's get this started. Looking at this, when we are running Combustor, so Combustor is running, this is just to stress test it, okay, and you guys can check it out at home as well, alright, so right now this is what I've got, okay, so I've got it set up like this, okay, so no overclocking here, no undervolting, it's underclocked a tiny bit, okay, it can go up to 29 something, and the fan curve it keeps forgetting so i'll just load it so i've saved it somewhere on my desktop so that's how i've saved it so sorry about the fans if you can hear them so i'll give it one the full amount and i'll give this okay so this is me just not overclocking it or all like this isn't just basically nothing realistically and so as you can see this is this is what I've done okay so this is this is my 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 settings right now so let's save this okay so this is saved so I can just load this so as you can see the fan curve is quite aggressive and you can hear the fans like kicking immediately and so this is basically it so let's let's start off with default okay so just everything is defaulted let's stress test it okay so as you guys can see it can easily do around 85 ish frames per second okay so that's 85 86 so that's what it's doing 89 okay 89 90 all right, that's just default okay? and you can see the clock speeds over here as well so the GPU is not being pushed really hard the fans are nice and loud the junction temperature is not that high either and the voltage is quite low as well board power is around there you know so let's under volt it the 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 normal way that AMD does it okay so all it's done is under vaulted this but we're not even hitting that so this shouldn't matter so as you can see the frames per second are around 90 now 92 so it should uh, what I've seen is it should hover around 93 okay 93 to 95 is the comfortable mark for this GPU let's go on to GPU overclock okay so because it's doing it it's 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 dropping frames and it's doing all that stuff because it's it's increasing the overclock so this overclocked easily to 2950 so it's 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 pushing it's pushing a tiny bit okay it's pushing the those fps a tiny bit but also at the same time look at the heat so heat is going up as well let's run this for a little bit so as you guys can appreciate the, the fps didn't really do anything it's just a couple of fps there but it's it's not stable it's not stable at 95 and 93 it's dropping down to 85 83 and another thing that i've noticed which i'll talk to you guys in the end is micro stutters okay so i'll talk to you guys about this and this is the card that i've been testing all those videos where i've compared it against a 7900 xtx a, a 3080 and a 3090 so this card is all over the place, you know, so a lot of people are complaining about the XTX The XT is all over the place as well as I'm showing here and I'll get into it a bit more later So let's go over clocking the VRAM, which is the most important in my experience So if your VRAM is getting slow, there's no point. So the VRAM goes to 2648, okay? So let's see what it does over here so we're looking at the FPS okay, so I'll get this up anyway so you guys can see the CPU but the, the, the junction temperature is basically here Okay, so VRAM overclock dropped the junction temperature down a little bit and look at your FPS It's a bit more stable. Okay, is what I'm trying to say 
So quiet balance mode, I'm not going to worry about. Let's look at rage mode, okay? What does rage mode do? So what I've seen in the VRAM overclock, that's where I've seen the most improvement on in regards to being stable and the frames being pushed a bit more. Let me know in the comments whether you guys have experienced anything like this where you tweak it a tiny bit and it just goes off the rails. Okay, so now we're in rage mode. So you'll hear the fan a tiny bit more. Look at the junction temperature as well. Look at the GPU clock. By the way, I've got the latest drivers running, so I'm up to date because I've got no internet right now, but I'm up to date and it should be right. By the time I release this, probably it won't be up to date. So don't go nuts on me, guys. So look, look at the voltage, it's not using like, so if I undervolt it to a thousand, it shouldn't have an issue. But you'll see, as soon as I undervolt it a tiny bit, it start having issues. So look at that, okay? Nice and stable in rage mode. Okay, let's go custom, okay? Let's load the custom one. Open file, is it, that's save, that's open, okay. okay. All right, so that's the custom one, okay? So let's even drop this to what AMD wanted. So AMD's overclock was 2648. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, the FPS has gone over 100, okay, for the first time in this test, but it's also going down to 88 as well, okay. And look at how aggressive my fan curve is, okay. But the jun junction temperature is at 71 degrees. You know, so I've increased this. I've increased this a tiny bit. The power limit is maximum. But look at the FD FPS now tanking down to 83. Different areas, obviously, of the test. Different areas have different load. So let's 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 increase this. What it'll do? Okay, let's properly increase it. So I've increased it to 3.5. Okay, it's not at 3.5. My VRAM is still there. Now it's starting to pull a lot more power and the heat is going up. But I'm not seeing anything here, you know? I'm not seeing a 10 FPS increase. Mind you, this is just 720p. Okay, let's, let's, let's actually increase this to 3000 to push it. And look at that, it's gone up. The voltage has really gone up. So it's, look at the FPS, it's tanking. It's going lower, okay? So this is the issue with AMD. This is, this, is, this is the only thing I've found with AMD, latest drivers and the new GPUs. Look at the, in the test, like I, this is live, guys, okay? Let's, let's push this even harder. Let's make the GPU, GPU work harder. And it's, it's tanked. So realistically, it can't go above 31, even though the max frequency is. So that's a hard reset. That's, that's a complete crash, okay? That's a complete, complete crash. All right, let's get everything back up and running. All right, so it's reset everything for me. Okay, so here's my tweak again, okay? So here's my tweak. Let's get combustor up. You can do heaven, whatever you want, you know? You can just test on whatever you want. But I'm just testing on this just to show you guys, you know. So I, I literally haven't done anything and the FPS are, don't increase. That's the first problem. So if you increase the VRAM tuning, give it more power and all that, increase the, have the best fan curve, it doesn't really do anything for the FPS. It might increase it by a couple of FPS is in my experience, but it makes it a lot m less stable. Okay, so let's go back to 3200 and let's go to 3000. Okay, and let's look at this, what what will happen to this and this, okay? And obviously the FPS. FPS immediately, look at that guys, went from 98 to 74. That, that shouldn't happen. It's giving, it's giving, giving more power. It's the heat, the fan is kicking in more, okay? The clock speed's higher. And uh, yeah, it's tanking. My guess is the VRAM is not showing correctly. The v it's actually diverting power from here to, to the overclock. So it's increasing the GPU speed, 
but the VRAM speed it's br bringing down, that's what's happening. So guys, if you're thinking, hey, I'll overclock it a tiny bit, doesn't really work, okay? So le let's let's look at an un let's look if I can undervolt a little bit. So that's how much power it's wanting, and that's how much power AMD wanted to give it to it as well. So let's go 65, a tiny, tiny smidgen of a undervolt volt. Nothing doesn't doesn't increase it. Doesn't. It's, it's decreasing if anything you know it's going to 69 so it's getting less power it's uh, being undervolted you know but it's not doing anything my X XFX card the 6900 uh, XT Mac 319 I could get that down to uh, one a thousand and five okay I could properly um, increase the frequency and I would see improvements so absolutely nothing is happening. The undervolt is pushing, pulling it a tiny bit back, you know, but the frames aren't improving, nothing are, nothing's improving. So let's turn everything off except for the aggressive power curve fan. Let's see, and the junction temperature went all the way to 74. So look at the FPS, they start, it's starting to come back up. All right, 84, it's not back up to 100 where it was. So let's go to default. Oh, let's go to look at that immediate improvement okay I don't know why it doesn't let me play with the fan in this setting so it should it should always give me a custom fan which is what I love about MSI afterburner so anyways guys this is this is just a little thing here I don't hate AMD I don't love Nvidia they're both just companies for me don't get triggered by this video it's just a video just an information video at for you guys to have a look at and see what's going on please do comment if you're seeing behaviors like this see what's going on why is this happening to you it, i have tested the xtx and the xt both have this issue so let me know in the comments what do you guys think what's causing it why is amd doing this because my guess is it's just diverting vram power to gpu power and I don't know, maybe trying to stick to this power limit, but it's really tanking, it's really bad. It shouldn't do that, it should be going the other way. And the undervolt volt should work as well. Undervolting is and working at all on this. All right, guys, thank you for watching to the end. Remember, I run this channel all on my own. That GPU alone, the XT, 7900 XT, cost me over $1,500 Aussie, okay? That's out of my pocket for you guys. So if you guys appreciate that, please do donate through super liking. I've got my Patreon as well on here. If you can't do those, subscribe, watch more videos and support my content through that way. Thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, before I go, the last thing I wanted to talk about is micro stutters. No matter what I've done, some of the games that I play introduce micro stutters into this, into my gaming. And you might say it's driver related optimization and things like that. I think it's just something to do with the cooling. It's, it's not cooling it properly. It's showing the jun junction temperature, GPU temperature are nice and low, but I don't know what it is. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of this video? Thank you for watching it to the end. Take good care. Bye-bye.